We've always been well known and we've always been world class. I'm Dr. Len Girardi and I'm a graduate of Wild Cornell Medicine, class of 1989. And today I'm chairman and professor of cardiothoracic surgery at Wild Cornell Medicine. It's clear that Wild Cornell Medicine has transformed in the last 20 years. With the kind of support we've received from leaders like Joan and Sandy Weil and many others who have invested in our success, everything from education to research to clinical care has been elevated. Over the last two decades, the sophistication of the patient care we can provide has increased exponentially. We have doctors at over 40 patient care sites throughout New York City and more than 1.7 million patient visits every year. We built the Wild Greenberg Building, our flagship ambulatory care facility, all while strengthening relationships with our top-ranked clinical partners. Because of all these advances, we're now able to recruit true bench-to-bedside doctors who can take what they're seeing with the patients, innovate in the lab, and then bring it back to the patient. We have such a depth of talent, and I'm proud to train the next generation. It's truly a new era at Wild Cornell Medicine. In the last 20 years, Wild Cornell has been part of a revolution in medicine and biomedical research. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Ross, and I'm a graduate of Wild Cornell Medicine, class of 82. Today, I'm a professor of neurology and professor of neuroscience in the File Family Brain and Mind Research Institute, and I direct the Center for Neurogenetics at Weill Cornell. It's never been such an exciting time to be an investigator. We can now use insights from our patients as a window into understanding the molecular mechanisms of disease, and we hope that'll find its way back to new treatments. The Belfer Research Building has really opened up incredible possibilities for discovery at Weill Cornell. More than 70 outstanding investigators have been recruited, leading to a 25% increase in sponsored research and rising support from the NIH. The complexity of research these days demands that investigation be multidisciplinary and highly collaborative. We have residents in the lab, PhD students, medical students, and postdoctoral fellows, and we're all a single team trying to figure out what causes disease and how we can disrupt that to improve health. If we can't get something done here, then it probably can't be done. No matter where I've been in my career, Wild Cornell has always been there for me at every step. I'm Dr. Lenny Golightly, and I'm a graduate of Wild Cornell Medicine, class of 83. Today, I'm an associate professor of microbiology and immunology and associate dean for faculty diversity. Every year, Wild Cornell students study at dozens of programs around the world, including Tanzania, Haiti, Ghana, and of course, Wild Cornell Medicine in Doha, Qatar. In the last two decades, we've raised millions for scholarship support. We have a new medical school curriculum that allows for increased interaction with patients and innovative learning methods. New state-of-the-art classrooms and mobile digital tools that were beyond reach 20 years ago. And while we have all of these new things at Wild Cornell, the fabric is the same as it was when I was a student. It's a warm community with a belief in people and patients. We all care, discover, and teach. That's our fabric woven together. Thanks to Joan and Sandy Weil. This is Wild Cornell Today.